every single day is a gift from God. And we need to treasure each and every one of them. If you were able to get up this morning, put your feet on the floor, and be about your business, you ought to stop this morning before you do anything else and just thank the Lord for the gift of another wonderful day. As we get ready to, to move through this day, the Lord comes to us this morning from Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 1. And the subject matter in which He uh, desires to speak to us today is, What are you worth? What is your value in life? And when we answer that question, let me tell you why it's so important to answer that question on a routine basis. Because I have found in not only my life, but in life in general and in, in dealing with a lot of people uh, through the ministry, that whatever a person sees themselves, what, whatever value they place on their life or worth that they feel that they possess in their lives typically dictate how they live their life. And so it's important this morning that we understand that our worth and our value comes from who we are in Christ Jesus, not our own abilities, not our own things in life, not our own self-centeredness. It all comes from who we are in Christ. And so this morning in chapter 1, verses 11 and 12 of 2 Thessalonians. I want you to listen to what Paul writes. Wherefore also we pray also for you, that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasures of his goodness and the work of faith with power, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ might be glorified in you and you in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. That word in verse 11, worthy, it means fit or valued. In other words, he is praying that God would allow you to see that because he has saved your soul, and called you into not only his family, but into his work, that that places a tremendous worth and value upon your life. Now, here's the thing we need to do with that. That's a fact that we're precious to God. It's a fact that we are the crown of his creation. It is a fact that we are the apple of his eye. That we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We can speak all of that. But the end result is, guys, what do we do with that? What do we place value upon in this life? Do we value the words that we speak? Do we value the love that we show other people? What do we invest our time in? What do we invest our lives in can we be honest this morning and say this that so much of what we invest our lives in is not of a great value it has no eternal consequences it has no eternal value we spend so much of our time lost in emotion and lost in feelings and lost in these other things but God is calling us back to that valued place, that worthy calling, that His good pleasure may work in us with power and that He might be glorified in us, but that we may also be glorified in Him. So today I speak a blessing over your day, but that you would see every single day is precious and value it the way you have been valued and invest your life into the things that matter because in the end those are the things that will remain I pray a blessing over your life today over your household over your family your children your marriages your finances the decisions you have to make today we take it to the Lord on your behalf 
Take a little time today to spend a little time with Jesus. Be safe, be strong, and always be blessed. Have a great day.